name is Charles St. Charles. I'm a North American nature and wildlife photographer. I've tried to put together a video that spans the entire year and shows both the beauty of nature across the seasons and some great conservation successes, as well as simple projects that anyone can start with before working on more challenging projects. This next project involves a tiny fish in the Sonoran Desert at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. When we think of deserts, we tend to picture sand dunes, but the Sonoran Desert is a vibrant living ecosystem. There are a few precious places in the desert where a tiny fish called a pupfish live. These fish are an endangered species, and up until recently, all of this particular type of pupfish lived in a single pond in Mexico, a short ways from the Arizona border. In this project, a middle school created a new pond in the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument and moved some pupfish from the old pond in Mexico into the new pond where they now thrive. Imagine what it would be like if every middle school had a project like this. How much better off both the environment and the students might be. I'm at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument and I'm here with Francisco Valdez and he has a very interesting tale about pupfish that he's personally involved in. Okay, so, so kind of describe to me all of the things that you had to do in order to first set up a pond before you even put any fish in it. We collected the, the water, the water. we collected it from, from the natural pond, which is Aikido Bajito. Mm -hmm. uh, we collected, like I said, we collected the water, the mud, the plants, um, and of course, um, the natural fish. So you, you actually had to carry the mud Perfect, yeah. from one pond. How far away are these, these ponds? 19 miles. First you had to dig out the, the hole where the pond is going to be. You had to bring mud from the old pond to the new pond, vegetation from the old pond to the new pond. And then, if I understand right, water in the right pond, yes. the new mm -hmm. pond? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, this is before you ever got a fish in the water. How long did it take from the time you started digging to the time you were ready to bring the fish in? Um, I, let's see, that took about uh, five or six months, I would say. Okay, and then uh, we're talking about not high school kids doing this. These are middle school kids, right? Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that 6th, 7th, and 8th grade? Yeah, 6th, 7th, and 8th and grade. I, I, I was in 8th in grade. Okay, yeah. so you, you guys are working for months at a time. Correct. Do this. So when you finally got done, how many fish did you take out of the existing pond? Took out 239 um, wild fishes and then we brought them and stumped them in, 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 the, in their new home. Okay, so here we are um, about a decade later, maybe a little less than a decade. About, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many fish are in the pond now? Over a thousand. Well, when you got done with this project, did this have any influence on where you ended up? Because I noticed that you're working in the visitor center now. Correct. Yes, yeah. Um, um, I was, I did that project in, in 2005, 2007, May of 2007. I, I, I started working at the, at, at the visitor center. Um, and now I'm, I'm a fee collector that works in the visitor center. Did you start working in the visitor center before you graduated from high school? Yeah, before I graduated, I, really? I, was, uh, I was in the 10th grade. All right, so for all you youngsters out there who are looking for a good project and possibly a job, this yeah. is a really great example. Okay, yes. um, so I really wanna thank you. I, I think that thank this you. is just a fantastic project and that, that kids before they even get out of high school, before they even out of middle school, could help an endangered species. I think that is a, right. a wonderful story. So, yeah. Thank you. And I, I wish to find many more stories like this. Yeah. All right. When you get done watching this, please leave a post about projects that you know of or maybe have worked on to help nature. I'd like to cover more stories like that and pass on the inspiration of what we can accomplish when we try. 